Welcome to Teaching with Lumen One, and welcome to this quick start video introducing the Lumen One student journey. By Teaching with Lumen One, you're joining us in our collective mission to eliminate race and income as predictors of student success. To understand how courseware might support that goal, we've been talking to students across the country. Students at minority serving institutions, first generation students, students from low income communities, we've heard about just how much they're juggling, about what it feels like to feel called out when they just need to catch up, about the difference that a caring professor who sees them and supports them can make, and about how much they want a flexible, organized learning environment. Their words, combined with Lumen's framework for evidence-based teaching practices, a collection of what we know and research says supports student learning and belonging, became the foundation for Lumen One. Today, we're gonna to work through the key parts of the Lumen One experience through the eyes of students and the key milestones on their journey. And we're gonna start at the beginning of the semester. Students told us in countless interviews how important it is that they feel seen and supported from the very first day. They wanna sense that they have a caring professor who's gonna understand and support their success. And that is where Introduce Yourself comes in. Your Lumen One course includes a student's introduce yourself assignment. When students open it, they'll be prompted to take a short survey. They can tell you their preferred name, how to pronounce it, or their preferred pronouns. Every survey is a little different from course to course, but each one is designed to help you understand the students who are taking your course, both as a whole and as individuals. And you can use the data from this survey to customize your communications or to help students feel seen and supported. The answers are available inside your Lumen Faculty Engagement Center. And because this is an assignment, you can actually add, you can adjust the points and you can add a due date. Now let's talk about before class. At the heart of the Lumen One experience is the study plan. The study plan is designed to be a flexible and self-guided way for students to learn and apply the key concepts in the module before they come to class. Every study plan starts with a readiness check assessment. The readiness check assessment is designed to quickly assess whether students are ready to jump into the module or whether they might need some additional support with some key background skills. It's designed to be short and it's designed to give them immediate feedback as they work through it. They'll know if they got a question right or wrong, and they'll see an explanation. This way, we hope that just completing the readiness check is a way to learn or refresh on these key background skills. Inside a student's study plan, they'll see which skills need review, and they'll have an opportunity to jump into a quick mini lesson to get a refresher or a first introduction to that skill or content and to quickly learn and practice before they jump into the module. Students told us it was so important for this to be embedded right in the learning experience so they could feel supported as they catch up and not called out because they don't know this information. You'll notice that even the language we use for the readiness check is intentional. It's not about skills you should have, but skills you're going to need. The idea is not to make students feel judged if they're coming in with a different level of preparation. Next, we'll talk about the core learning activities within the study plan. There's a cheat sheet. You can think of this like a chapter summary that students actually click on. There are topics with a very predictable learning pattern. There's a learn it, which is the intro to new material, videos, readings, practice problems to learn core concepts. There's an apply it, which is where students take that and apply it to a real world context. There's a self check, which is how they can assess how they're doing. This is an unlimited assessment that they just get points for completing, not for correctness. And this way they can assess on their own how they're doing as they go. And then there's a fresh take. If students are struggling after the self check, the fresh take is a way to learn the content or relearn it in a different way. And as students complete the study plan, the study plan will update to help them decide where to spend their time. 
They'll see indicators of what's done or what's left to be done. And most importantly, they'll see indicators for proficiency. Achieved means they've gotten every question right on this skill. Needs review means they missed a few questions on these skills and it would be worth spending more time in the topic. The idea is that students can choose to approach the study plan in the way that meets their needs and their time commitments, but we're nudging them in the direction of assessing their background knowledge, jumping into the content, assessing what they're learning, and then if needed, learning it in another way. Now let's talk about during class. If students have completed all those activities before class, you can use your class time activity to review the topics they're struggling with using your engagement center data, or to facilitate guided active learning activities where they can reflect and engage on their own, or ideally work with a partner or peers in their classroom. Inside your Lumen One Engagement Center, you'll find suggested lesson plans for these active learning activities. They also come with companion slide decks and built-in activities and answer keys that you can use to actually guide those class time activities. Now let's talk about the quiz. Every Lumen One study plan includes a quiz with two attempts. It's the summative assessment for that module. Here, you'll see that the quiz is located at the very bottom of the study plan. Anytime students come back to the study plan, they'll be able to see their progress and their scores. As students take the quiz, the idea is that we wanna be able to use that quiz data to update their study plan again so they can choose where to study before taking their second attempt. Now, every quiz may have two attempts when you first set up your course, but you have the ability inside your Lumen One Engagement Center to add additional attempts for a particularly difficult module or if students just had a technical hiccup. And on the results page, you'll see that we're recommending skills to review and letting students review their content. And now their study plan has updated so that they can see where to spend their time next to get the highest score possible. And it's just that highest score that reports to your learning management system's gradebook. In our future videos, we're gonna talk about some of the embedded supports that you can leverage to support student success. But one thing we wanted to mention is our Lumen One student community. This is an embedded, moderated community. Here you'll see a learning page. If a student's reviewing this material, but they're still feeling confused, they'll see a call out at the bottom to visit the Lumen community. This is accessible to all students using Lumen One. Students can ask questions and Lumen moderators will provide answers. They can ask their own question and they can even ask it anonymously or just to a moderator. They can weigh in on peer conversations or even share resources. The idea is that students can get immediate help or seek additional help without having to leave the courseware. In our future sessions, we'll go into many of these features in more detail and also explore your faculty engagement center. But for now, thank you for listening and thank you for teaching with Lumen One.